So you've just bought yourself a new 3D printer, you've got it all tuned up, you've printed out a bunch of pieces already, and you're starting to think to yourself, I wonder if I can sell some of these prints in order to bring in a little bit of extra cash? I get this question a lot, and to be honest with you guys, I'm a little bit nervous to make this video because, as we know, with everything in the 3D printing, you know, maker sphere, things change pretty regularly because at its core we're all a bunch of makers and we all tinker with stuff so new things come up here and there but i just kind of have to resign myself to realize that this is just going to be a topic that's going to change over time but first you're probably thinking to yourself why the heck am i going to listen to you as in me talking to you right now i've been 3d printing for almost three years now and i've sold dozens of raw 3d prints of files that i have not modeled myself actually i consider myself to be a hobbyist in the 3d printing space. I mostly use my 3D printers for personal use to use in my cosplays, but at one point I did have an Etsy store where I mostly printed helmets out for others and these helmets were modeled by other people. So let's get back to the original question. Can you sell 3D prints of a file that you did not model yourself? When you Google or search YouTube for this answer, you're probably going to be met with a lot of differing opinions on this and it's because the answer is complicated. I will not be talking about IP rights or copyright laws in this video. That is way beyond my understanding. I'm not a lawyer or anything, and I'm not giving legal advice in this video. Is it true that an IP holder like Star Wars or Marvel can come down on a 3D modeler who is using their designs and intellectual property to turn a profit? Absolutely, they are well within their rights to do that. In the Star Wars cosplay community specifically, there are actually a lot of people who have made their own business out of basically vacuum forming armor and selling it for a profit. For example, the short trooper that I made and looks complete but is not complete was completely vacuformed as well as my Imperial Jin Urso kit that was also vacuformed and they were both from 850 Armor Works. And there are people who 3D model and then choose to make a resin cast of that 3D model to sell that for profit. And some of these makers have actually been asked to be in Star Wars things, like there were a bunch of stormtroopers that were used in an episode of season one of The Mandalorian, but that doesn't mean that Star Wars or Lucasfilm won't change their mind one day and just suddenly decide that they're not okay with it. For example, with them expanding their helmet offerings through the Black Series line, they very well could come down on modelers profiting off of their perceived potential revenue. So in this video, I'm really going to be focusing on the relationship of yourself with the 3D modeler of the file of your choice that you are looking to profit off of. And again, I am not a lawyer, I am not giving you legal advice, and in fact, I have linked a bunch of videos down below if you are interested in like copyright laws and IP holders for 3D printing types of things. What I specifically want to talk about today is concerning that question from earlier. Can I sell these raw 3D prints and turn a profit off of them? Or even a free file that I got off of Thingiverse? In short, unless the 3D modeler has some different terms and conditions associated with their property, you do not inherently have the right to print things for profit. Even if you bought the file, even if it is on your computer, and yes, this goes for things on Thingiverse as well. Most 3D modelers operate under a Creative Commons license, and again, that includes files on Thingiverse that indicates you cannot use the files for commercial use, or in other words, make money off of selling physical prints. This also means that you can't take the file that you just purchased and upload it to Etsy or try to pass it off as your own work. Most 3D modelers have created their models from the ground up, and their models are mostly protected under a form of fan art or fan creation. Just because you think that that person who modeled that file does not have the inherent IP rights to model that file does not mean that you get to go and sell the prints for profit just because you think that they're infringing on intellectual property rights. Think of it as a piece of fan art that you see online. You can't inherently say just because it's downloaded to your computer that you own that piece of fan art. You didn't create it, someone else did, and someone else needs to be credited for that work. This is why you'll often see a lot of modelers putting a signature into their model. This can help them easily identify if it has been stolen. And it also goes both ways because if people end up making these helmets and make a resin cast out of it, they will have that in the mold as well. All right, so I've got like the scary bits out of the way. Let's actually talk about how you can collaborate with a 3D modeler in order to sell 
your 3D prints that you are both benefiting off of the transaction. So I talked a bit about the Creative Commons license that is mostly common on Thingiverse and how that can affect the ability for you to sell a print for profit. However, just because they're protected under that Creative Commons, it doesn't necessarily mean that the modeler is opposed to you using those files in order to print physical raw 3D prints for people. The quickest and most surefire way for you to know if you can print a file for profit, and I promise it is this simple, is to ask the 3D modeler directly. Reach out to them through email, through direct messages, or whatever way you can get in contact with them and ask them if they are comfortable with you selling physical 3D prints of their work. I would say whenever you're going into this conversation to be prepared to pay them some sort of royalty for using their file. After all, the whole reason that you're able to sell these in the first place is because they provided a model and file for you to physically print. It only makes sense for them to get a cut out of this. This was actually an agreement that I came to with the modeler of this Gar Saxon helmet that I made a long time ago and never made a tutorial on because it was a rush thing for a friend and I just didn't have the time for it. But whenever I posted that to social media, I got a lot of people who were asking me to print them that helmet or to, you know, finish it up for them. So I reached out to the modeler on Etsy and we ended up coming to an agreement where for every helmet that I sold, I would give him a $50 kickback or you could say a royalty on every helmet that I sold. I actually never did end up selling any commissions of that helmet just for future reference, but the fact that I worked things out with the modeler made me feel a lot better about the whole situation because even if you use somebody's file and print it for profit without them knowing, they're gonna find out someday. It's also become pretty popular for modelers to create a Patreon and have some type of tier where you basically have all of the licensing rights in order to print their files. For example, Mystery Makers Patreon, where I got all of my Bo-Katan files from, he runs his Patreon like that, and Galactic Armory also does that as well. So you pay about $15 a month to pledge to them, and it's basically a licensing agreement that you can print their stuff for profit. There's also just a ton of these Patreons in the mini painting, wargaming, warhammer side of things, and it's very profitable for those guys to do too. It ends up working out for the modeler as well because I've noticed a few 3D modelers really just enjoy 3D modeling for the fun of it, and they don't necessarily 3D print their stuff out. So when they've got a Patreon full of people that are wanting to use their files to print out, they almost have a built-in QA department in order to test out the printability of their files and to get feedback on the files, as well as having a list of people that can physically print the things for you to give to a consumer who is asking for a physical product. Again, the 3D printing community at its core is a bunch of makers who just have a passion to bring ideas to life, and the most important people in this community are the 3D modelers. You probably noticed that the tips I gave you in this video are pretty much like common sense and based on the honor system and just not being a jerk. And you would be correct. You can certainly go out there and just take a file that you bought offline and print it for profit, don't care what the person who modeled it thinks, and no one is really going to stop you. Do not take that as me encouraging you to do that. Personally, that feels gross and I cannot in good faith do that. Why would I take a file that I just clicked purchase on and try and sell it off as my own creative work? Yes, there are things that we as owners of 3D printers need to do in order to make that file come out on our printer perfectly, but that doesn't equate you just going off and selling someone else's stuff as your own. That's why you will always see me crediting the 3D modelers who designed the files that I use in my cosplays, and it's it, it's only right to distinguish that because I don't want people thinking that I just made this out of foam or something like that, and I also want to, I want to help them. I want to help them grow. I want them to make sales because they have good files. Now for something a little bit different, if you have been asked by a family member or a friend in order to print out something for them, I wouldn't worry too much about that. I've printed out a lot of things for friends who just don't have a printer and they need something 3D printed for them, so I'm always happy to do that. I usually will charge like the cost of materials plus like $10 an hour per amount of print time on the print bed, but this is not a hard and fast rule at all because some models are easier to print than others and some are just like really big pains in the butt in order to get right. You also gotta factor in failures and stuff like that. And the thing is, most of the time whenever I'm printing these things for friends and family, it's for their personal use. They're going to use it in a costume or they're going to put it on a shelf. They're not going to 
turn around and try to profit off it themselves. So I hope that that clears up a lot of things for you guys. Like I said, I get this question a lot and a lot of people misunderstand the rights of an STL file holder and they somehow think that they own the rights to the file, which is absolutely false. So to recap, if you want to print out physical raw 3D prints for profit, ask the modeler first. If they have a Patreon or a similar website set up for printing their models legally, sign up for it. It's better than these 3D modelers finding out months down the line that you're doing this and calling you out. And they will find out. And if you think that people can't tell the difference between a helmet modeled by one modeler as opposed to a second modeler, you are deadly wrong. And I suggest that you go look at some of the build threads on the RPF whenever they discuss 3D models. Thanks again to my Patreon supporters for making this video possible. And if you would like to join them, you can head over to patreon.com slash vaultbox. I've been sharing a lot of behind the scenes of us doing a bunch of home renovations because we're trying to get this space all kind of not as dark and not wood paneling everywhere. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. If you have any thoughts about this topic, please let me know as well. I would love to hear them, especially if you're a 3D modeler. I definitely want to hear your opinion on this. And I guess I will see you guys next time. Bye. I gotta go. Um, I don't. <laughs> I don't think I finished whatever I was saying. I think I just said I gotta go, but I was going to get my aha that I always need to drink before every video. Oh God, it just got everywhere. So for example, a piece of armor that would take like seven hours to print on a printer.